What's so special about the climate change the 21st century is experiencing? The special thing about climate change in the 21st century is that humans caused it and humans will have to live through the consequences and will have to deal with those consequences. From a natural science point of view though, the big difference about climate change this century is that it's happening just so rapidly. Other climate changes happen over thousands of years typically. We're imposing a change over years, decades and centuries. I'm Gideon Henderson. I'm a professor at the University of Oxford working in the Earth Science Department. I'm a geochemist and I use chemistry to understand climate and the history of climate. The sorts of things that I work on are areas in past climate where we can understand from that study what might happen in the future. A good example of that might be the work that's been done in ice cores. When you drill down into ice at the high latitudes in Antarctica and Greenland, you find bubbles which enable you to reconstruct how much carbon dioxide was in the atmosphere in the past. And it was through this work that we learned that there was a tight coupling between CO2 in the atmosphere and how warm the planet was. And really it was that past climate observation that led to a lot of the current concern about climate change. Another example of an area where study of past change might really inform us about the future is the permafrost. This is land in the northern continents which is permanently frozen and which contains a large amount of carbon. So some of my research has been to look at past changes in the permafrost and therefore to understand the response of permafrost to global warming. If you go to a cave and you find that there are stalactites or stalactites in a region that's currently permafrosted, then they must have formed at some time in the past. And simply by finding stalactites and dating them, we can work out when the permafrost had gone from that region and link those periods of permafrost collapse to warm periods in the past to understand exactly how much warmer the planet can get before we really catastrophically melt back the permafrost in the Northern Hemisphere. Climate change has been an enormous test. It still is an enormous test. We need to keep political will for change. And we're really seeing, particularly at the Paris meeting, but more generally as well, a willingness to do something about it. But if it's really able to bring the political and scientific community together to work on this sort of problem, it means that we've got hope for solving other problems which involve a similar discussion between science and society in the future.